Hi, this is Ted, KE6YJC, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your uh, Titera MD380 uh, to work in conjunction with your DV4 Mini. Uh, there's really only three easy steps that you need to do on the Titera radio to get it to communicate with your DV4 Mini. So let's jump in and get your radio programmed up. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download the Titera MD380 software and you will need to have the MD380 and the USB programming cable which should have all come in your package uh, that you got from your supplier. You can go to the tyt888.com site and you can download the latest version of the Titera software uh, for your MD380. So if you go to tyt888.com slash download.html you should get this website and right here you'll see this is the MD380 software. Go ahead and click on that and it will download your file uh, for the MD380. Now it will take a little bit of time to download it. You have to be patient. I believe the site is overseas so it takes a little bit of time to get it. But once you get it downloaded you should have this file right here which ends in 5333. So what you're going to want to do is click on the MD380 and it looks like a bunch of garbage there at the end. Go ahead and just double click on that. It's going to ask if you want to extract, tell it to run. Basically just take next. You're going to do a typical installation. Click next. Yes on the user access control. And when you're done you'll see finish. You can go ahead and close this down. And now you'll see that you have the Titera MD380 icon on your desktop. So let's get out of there and we're going to go into the Titera software. So once in here, you'll want to hook up your computer to the radio through the USB cable. I don't have my radio, so you can do that. Click on the read button here and it will read in the configuration from your radio. Um, there's three major things that you have to have on DMR. One is you're going to have to have a contact. The second thing you're going to have to do is have a channel. And the third thing is you're going to have to assign that channel to a zone. Um, you also want to confirm here under the general settings that you have your radio name and your radio ID. The radio ID is the very important thing. Um, so we'll go ahead and fill this information. I'll put in here my call sign. And I'll put in my radio ID. And pretty much all the rest of the settings are okay. You can just leave them as default. Uh, I'll have another video that will kind of cover those in more detail. So the, again, the three things. You need a contact, a channel, and a zone. So we're going to go in here to digital contacts. And this is where you add all your top groups. And in this case, we're going to add a group call for the DV4 Mini. We're going to click on Add. And we'll call this one DV4 control. We need to make sure that the call ID is 9 and this group type does have to be group call which it is by default. I'll go ahead and move this over. The next thing you have to do is have a channel. So we'll go down here expand out channel information and there is a default channel there. Let's change this to K6 or actually we'll just do this YJC DV4. You'll need to plug in your frequency here that you're going to set your DV4 Mini on. I'm just going to pick a random frequency. We'll use 434-800. It does have to be simplex, so you have to make sure the receive and transmits are both the same. Um, the other thing that you'll want to make sure you check here is your timeout timer. By default, it is 60. You probably want to bump that up to something higher. Typically, I see people set this to 180. And you're pretty close to your DV4 Mini, so you might want to switch this down to low power. Now for the important things. Uh, the contact name has to be set to that contact that we made over here. So we added this DV4 control. We need to set the contact name to DV4 control. The other thing that you want to make sure is the repeater slot, otherwise referenced as time slots in Motorola and some other DMR modes. Uh, we'll drop this down and it has to be time slot 2. And that's pretty much all you have to do in your channels. So let's go ahead and go over to the zone. Uh, we'll expand out zone. As you can see here, you have a default zone of zone 1. 
We'll change this to K6, YJC, DV4. And you can see that the channel is already a member of this zone. If you created a new channel, you would have to move the channel from the available channel over to the right side to make it a member of this zone. Keep in mind you can only have 16 uh, channels in a zone. It's a limitation of the Titera software, but it should get you started. Uh, let's go ahead and save this file. I'm going to do a save as, and I'm going to call this KD6YJCMD380. It's going to be in my documents folder. And then all you have to do is click on the right button at the top, click OK. I don't have a radio connected, but I'm sure you do. It should uh, write that to your radio, and you should be on the air with your DV4 Mini. Hopefully this will help you get your uh, Titera up and running. If you have any questions, post them in the uh, notes below, and uh, we'll get back to them as soon as we can. Thanks.